Hey everybody, this is Ashley Bowen again. Um, I wanted to go ahead and do another tutorial um, showing you how to use digital stamp images. Um, a lot of companies are going digital um, and there's a lot more digital only stamp companies. So Treehouse Stamps has decided to kind of get on the bandwagon and offer digital images also with our um, rubber stamps. So, um, you know, I figured it would probably be a good idea to go ahead and, you know, help my customers out and show you how to use them. The, this tutorial will be using um, Photoshop Elements, and I will do another tutorial on GIMP. So, um, so let's go ahead and get started. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and open Photoshop, and this is what it looks like when I open it. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go to File, Open, and then you want to find your images that you want to use. So, uh, for example, mine are on my desktop. And I'm going to use these four images. And I'm going to uh, hit Control and click on all of them. And if you hold that Control down and click on them, then you can open more than one at one time. So I'll go up here and hit the smaller button and um, so I have four images that I'm gonna work with um, the main one being the big cupcake so the first thing I want to do after opening the images would be to make the backgrounds transparent and um, because if you would go and try to put this dot as sprinkles or whatever um, on this cupcake you would end up you know blocking out some of the lines so you don't want to do that. So I'll delete that. So you're going to go over here to the erase tool and right click. When you right click you see magic eraser tool. Click that. Now when you click on your images it will bring make your background transparent. That's what those checks mean. So I've made all the backgrounds transparent. Now, all I have to do is drag this over to the image. But, for example, I want to make the sprinkles uh, a different color. Let's say I want to make them hot pink or something. So you can use this paint bucket tool and color in. Just click on that dot and change that color and then drag it over. And you can drag it over as many times as you'd like. And then you can resize them. Oops. I reversed the direction. but So you can make them several different sizes. Whatever, you know, you're really looking for will be fine. And you can just kind of move them wherever you want to put them. I hear Grant throwing a fit in the other room, <laughs> but Daddy's got him, so he should be fine. Okay, so, like such. So, I mean, it's super easy to change your colors or do whatever, so I'll just minus out of that one. And then this cupcake. I wanted to say cupcake wishes in this heart, so I'm going to click this and drag it over. And I'll do the same thing with the wishes. So, but that's too big, so I need to downsize it. And I want to kind of make it, oh, catty corner. So I'm going to go to the edge here and turn it. And make it smaller. Do the same thing with the wishes. Oops, I hit the X instead of the check, and I moved it too much, so I just go back and do that some more. And you click the uh, check arrow to make sure that that's okay with what you just did. So I, that's that. Um, and let's say that you would rather, you know, print out this whole image colored in already, so you don't have to color it. You can just come over here and this is the color 
This top one is the one that's the foreground. So that's the color that you're currently using. And the background is the white here. So um, you can change this and like this color is the color that you are changing it to and that's the current color that you have it set on. So let's say that I want to make the top of my cupcake. This is the color on my sprinkles and I want to make the icing that light pink. So I click that and click that paintbrush and you want to make sure you have that cupcake selected. And you click that and it colors your icing. Now let's come down here and let's say I want to make it a chocolate cupcake. So you just click in those and there you have that. And let's say, whoops. Now this is the thing, like if I click the heart, then it's going to become this color. But if I want to color in the lettering, then you have to click on the images otherwise it'll just color the heart. So let's say I want to make those letters a um, hmm. You know, I might want to leave them white. Let's make this. You know, you can make it whatever color you want. It doesn't matter. But if you see, like, there's some white in those letters. So I can go in and click but if you do that then you end up um, you can hit control and then the plus sign and zoom in so that you can see a lot more like such Boop. and I just colored the whole background and I did it again Okay, I'm not going to worry about that one. When that prints out, you're really not going to see it. So, Okay, so let's say that you are done with your image and you're ready to print your image. The best thing that I have found to do um, to make sure you're not going to mess it up, go ahead and save your image. Um, I'm just going to save this to the desktop as a JPEG. And maybe colored hard or whatever. Uh, save it to your desktop or whatever folder. And then I'm going to open and reopen that up. Because if, if I hadn't done that before, then the cupcake, the wishes, and then the big cupcake were all separate images. So it would have, if you tried to drag it, it wouldn't have done it quite as easily and you would have had to select it um, all together so and now I'm gonna go to file new blank file make sure this is set on inches and I'm gonna be printing this out on an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper or cardstock so I'm gonna change those to eight and a half by eleven and click OK so it brings up an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper so what I do you don't have to make that transparent but I always do um, is you can just drag these over how many ever you want at a time and you can make these bigger smaller you know whatever works for you like so Now let's say that you would like to add some font under this one, let's say. And up here is the font and you can change your font to whatever you want and your size. So let's just say I want to say happy birthday. So I typed it in there and I want to make it a bigger font. So then I can just select this and move it down. And then when I print it out, I just cut that box out. Um, or you can use a circle punch, you know, to punch those out or what have you. So, but you can leave these blank and, um, you know, they'll work just as well. And uh, you'll probably love them just the same. So, and then you can color them in with your, you can use Copic markers on um, digitally printed images. Um, I have an inkjet printer. And I can use um, the Gamsol 
Technique uh, Gamsaw Magic. And you can pretty much use any kind of coloring that you want to use on these. So um, I hope that I have helped you guys today. And I will talk to you later. Bye.